Well, Nigel, you lose by a goal to nil right at the death. It looked a, a soft decision from the referee, which led to the penalty converted by Everton in the 90th minute. Yeah, soft an understatement, uh, not a penalty. End of story. Unfortunately, we're at the mercy of these decisions. Uh, and even in games like this, uh, the result changing uh, and result deciding decisions. And uh, I've watched in the last few weeks, especially, but all season, Aidan Flint from corners, people not looking at the ball, holding him, wrestling him, and everything. And then that's given for a penalty tonight. Uh, it's no wonder everybody's up in arms at the moment. It really isn't. You can't speak on behalf of the referee, but what do you think he might have seen? He said it was a pull. We had a laugh actually because the assistant, who was about 10 yards from us, said, I thought it was a penalty. He's 75 yards away with about 18 bodies in front of him. He said, I thought it was a penalty. Uh, so it's quite comical at times, it really is. Aside from that, what are your thoughts on the game? Oh, pleased with the way, uh, effort and everything, very pleased. People needed minutes tonight and got them. Um, couldn't quite, uh, didn't want Macca to come off as early, he needed another 10 minutes, but he just felt his groin. That's the only downside, uh, but I think everybody who needed it, uh, Hiram got a good 90 minutes under his belt, Gale, Swan, people like that, and then just the 20 minutes is just for, for Flinty and Brunt and people like that just ticking over. Not serious with uh, McLaughlin, is it? No, he, he just felt it a pass, he played wide, uh, so just precautionary, we just got him straight off. Uh, overall, what did you want to get from the 90? Was it minutes into legs? Yes, more than anything. Didn't want to lose the game, uh, which is why he saw <laughs> she was so competitive and... Uh, Scott made a couple of good saves, George Coop, a couple of great blocks, uh, and we had how we haven't scored this end. I think James Gale just one deflected just uh, inches past the post. Uh, so, yeah, pretty much what we've got. I told you on Saturday, we're not particularly bothered with the uh, competition. It's more about keeping players, keeping players fit. Yeah, a bit of a mystery why there was only one goal in it. Yeah, yeah, there was uh, enough chances. You see the, sp the speed of them on the break. <coughs> Excuse me, some Premier League, you know, uh, sort of squad players and everything, uh, and you see the difference, the athleticism and so on, and the pace as the lad came on the right hand side, absolutely catching pigeons out there. Um, Chris, Christy Pym, your number one goalkeeper, has had a fine season. What about your number two, Scott Flinders? He produced two top saves around about the hour. Yeah, it's great. The competition's great for him as well, but two very good saves, especially the one he looked to be going to his right and he stuck his left hand out uh, and made a great save and, and we scrambled it clear. Uh, so good for him to keep his hand in as well. Uh, you uh, seem to change the shape at the start of the match. What did you want to see from that? No, we just 4 3 3. We're that sometimes anyway. Uh, we haven't got anybody nat natural in the line up to. Uh, to go behind the front two, uh, you know, Gail Swan and, uh, and Young McKeel uh, aren't suited to it, so you saw sort of a little bit more width uh, and just a, a slightly, just a, a little tweak, uh, but we're short of midfield players, as you saw from the midfield we lined up tonight. Three lefties in there as well, uh, which is uh, great for balance, uh, but you know, two defenders, Bailey and, and Macca doing a job in there, but good for their fitness to get, get a run around. Were you pleased with any performers in particular? Yeah, I was, I was pleased with everybody. Uh, it's always about the attitude as much as anything. Uh, and yeah, we waste a couple of crosses and we can play a little bit better at times. Uh, but it's all about the attitude and the work rate. I thought it was spot on again. Let's move on and look ahead to the match on Saturday at Salford. Can you give us the latest team news? Uh, well, we'll uh, have a count up, make sure, see how Macker is after tonight. Uh, Lewis Reed's not trained so far this week. Davis Keller done. Um, Lucas Aikins, we don't think will be available, uh, so we'll, we'll we'll see what we've got after that. How's Ollie Clark? Uh, had a scan. Uh, I think he's going to be a few weeks, uh, so he won't be available. Thoughts on Salford's uh, campaign so far? Yeah, it's been a little bit. Uh, I think they had a slow start to the season, uh, but they seem to be getting some good results now. And we know from the two games against them, they beat us twice last season, didn't they? Um, so we know from those games how dangerous they are. Uh, they play in a certain way, uh, and it's difficult to combat, especially with big Matt Smith up front. You've had such a fine season so far, unbeaten in the league still, but you come into it off the back of those two defeats uh, in the Cups. Um, how important is this one psychologically? Well, three defeats now. Uh, so not that they matter too much, but uh, it's important now to, to make sure that we totally focus on the league uh, and we maintain that unbeaten run for as long as we can. Thank you.